The title of our message from Proclaim is A Super Bowl Banquet. Mir K is an internet and YouTube personality who's all about spreading positivity. He's made many videos that emphasize the importance of being happy and being kind to others. And those videos have more than 350 million views on YouTube. I looked him up. <laughs> One of the most popular is called High Five New York, where he spends time giving high fives to people who stick out their hands to hail a taxi. <laughs> now some of the videos are serious and some of his videos are funny and some are inspiring. But there is one that went viral. It's the one that highlighted something that first happened during the Super Bowl in 2017. Now how many of you have ever watched a Super Bowl? There are a few of you. Well, I watched the very first one. That lets you know how old I am. And I've watched most of them since then. Well, he repeated it at Super Bowl 2018 and Super Bowl 2019. The first of these videos showed the stops Mir K made in his hometown of New York on Super Bowl Sunday, 2017. First, he went to a sporting goods store where he purchased some New England Patriot jerseys. Second, he stopped to order food, especially chicken wings, sorry vegetarians. And third, and most important, he went around his neighborhood and invited five homeless men to the party he was hosting for the big game at a rooftop bar on Fifth Avenue. Kay says he was first inspired to do this when he spotted a homeless man on the street holding a sign, not asking for money or food or drink. He said he felt invisible. He wanted somebody to talk to. The Super Bowl was coming up, and since it was an unofficial holiday when people gathered, Kay decided to reach out to a few homeless men to join him at the rooftop bar. The first event turned into an annual happening that came to be known as Super Soul Party. Kay now partners with local shelters and raises money to invite more than 50 homeless people from various shelters and on the streets to gather in Chelsea that features not only food, but also fresh clothing and the services of a barber. Kenny says these gatherings have a great impact on people who attend. And in the video, you can see people laughing and talking and appearing to be happy. They were given the opportunity not to feel invisible. Kay spends the entire night eating and talking with these special guests, helping them to know they have value. Kay's bigger gatherings not only help the homeless people, who are invited, but also it helps the volunteers. Some of whom would have been reluctant to approach, this, approach a homeless person on the street. Kay's extravagant hospitality is an example of how to love your neighbors. And Kay teaches us how important it is that people have a place where they feel welcome. People are welcome here at the Middletown Community United Methodist Church. They're welcome at our dinners on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 4.30 to 6.30. They're welcome to walk our labyrinth in the back. They're welcome to go to our thrift store. They are welcome to renew their spirits here at our Sunday services. Jesus talked about going to a dinner party, and I've hosted a few, and generally I do invite people I already know. But I'm going to tell you one story 
I heard a uh, sermon here in this church when I was on the Board of Supervisors. I was newly elected in 1985, and I had a reporter from the Observer, the Clear Lake Observer, who wrote some really pretty stiff things about me. And it wasn't very nice. And they said, you know, that's fine. If that's the way he feels, I know what I'm doing. I know how I'm trying to treat people. I know that I'm listening and doing all these things and representing the people who elected me. And even representing the people who didn't vote for me. I still represent them. But I heard a message here. And you know, my daughters were old enough that they could read the paper and read some of the comments that he was making that invite your enemy. I didn't consider him my enemy, but I certainly didn't consider him my friend. So Thanksgiving was coming up, and I said, I'm going to invite this reporter to come to my house for Thanksgiving with my family. I didn't know whether he would say yes or no, but I was going to reach out and invite him. He said yes. When my oldest daughter heard that he was coming to dinner, she goes, what? You invited Blake Blake to dinner? And she said his name. She did not say nasty words. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yes, I did. He came to dinner. He ate with my two daughters, my husband and me. He was very nice. And never wrote a negative thing about me again. I didn't do it to make him not like me or not write negative things. I did it because I was told that's the thing Christ would do. It changed how he viewed me. Not on purpose, but as a way of reaching out to somebody who was suffering. Know this, when people are negative and angry and whatever, <laughs> They have issues. They have frustrations that they may feel invisible, that nobody cares. When people shoot up places, do you know why? They feel nobody cares about them. And they want to be known. Or someone has hurt them deeply. We are here to release our hurts to Christ. Release our hurts to God and take on love and be the loving light of Christ as we go into this world. We can do this. 